Welcome. My father Sonny Sebastian, a divine word missionary priest. Nice to share this reflection with you today. The gospel presents a dramatic scene where Jesus shows himself as Lord of the temple. It does not seem in character to see Jesus with a small whip of goats physically driving out the traders in uh, traders of cattle, sheep and pigeons, animals to be used in sacrifices and the money changers of course. They were needed because only Jewish money could be offered in the temple, used in the temple. Roman coins had the image of uh, Augustus Caesar or divine Augustus and so were you know considered as idolatrous. They had to be exchanged for Jewish coin, Jewish money. So Jesus objected not to the trade as such which was quite legitimate but to its being done in the temple precincts my father's house take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a marketplace jesus says such business kind of business should have been carried out outside the temple precincts It is also not at all impossible that the temple authorities connived at the practice and may have been benefiting from it. This would explain the priest's anger at what Jesus was doing. What sign can you show to justify what you are doing? They asked. Jesus replies, "Destroy this sanctuary, and in 3 days I will raise it up." They do not understand realize that Jesus was speaking about another sanctuary a different kind of sanctuary another temple where God lived his own person his own body through this event we are reminded during lent during this lent of what we are preparing to to remember and to celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus It is the very heart of our faith. But as Paul explains, Jesus' death to the Jews was a stumbling block and a scandal. It was impossible for them to accept that the Messiah, their savior and king could suffer such an ignon- ignominious death that just could not be. God could not allow it. To the Gentiles and to the pagans, it was meaningless. power domination and influence were what counted in their mind and in their world the idea that someone executed like and with common criminals should be worshiped as lord was nonsense to them it was something to be ignored and laughed at and rubbished but to those who have been called and who answer the call be they jews or gentiles men or women slave or free It is the power and wisdom of God. The death of Jesus to any objective observer seems like utter failure. To believe in such a Lord seems stupid, but to those with eyes of faith can see the power of love in that death. So let us pray. Lord, open my eyes to see this reality of your love and care for me constantly. Let me recognize the power of your love and death to give me eternal life in you and to be with you. Amen.